Now it's time to install PHP MyAdmin. Uh, we are going to need a portry, so make sure that you downloaded the portry already. If you follow the tutorials from the FreeBSD Apache installation, then you already have the ports because that step was already included. In case you didn't, it's uh, this step. Port snap fetch ampersand ampersand port snap extract. That's the command you need to do then. But if you already have it, then you won't need it. Just make sure that it's up to date also. So in order to install this, of course, you need to have Apache, you need to have the MySQL server, and you need to have the PHP extend uh, install. You have need to have the PHP installed for the server so it understands how to use PHP files. And uh, the first thing you want to do is to go to USR ports databases p php my admin and in here you do the command make install clean uh, this is going to take a while when you run this command and um, in case there is something extra you want in the packages you can move the cursor and press spacebar to select and deselect and press return on the ok mark you can move to the ok or cancel with the tab key but uh, when I'm going to install this, I'm going to, going to take OK on all the windows here. So we jump forward a bit in the movie. Alright, now the PHP my admin is compiled and we need to make some configurations now. Uh, this time when we make configurations, um, I'm going to speed up the process a bit and to give you how to download the config files from the website instead. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to explain also what the file does and how they look inside, so you can also manually type them in. The first thing we need to do is to edit the, um, the config file for the uh, PHP MyAdmin. And where we need to go then is to USR local WW PHP MyAdmin. And in here, it's a file we need to edit, which is the name config.enc.php. Uh, if we open this file, it looks like this inside. We need to add, add the uh, everything that is between the question marks can be deleted, because this is just a big bunch of comment here. And here is where we want to add the config. But I want to show you an easier way. Uh, if you wonder what we need to add there, it's located on the website bsdtutorial.org and uh, you find it under the FreeBSD and then you look to uh, PHP my admin here under server application and here is the configuration we need to add inside of this file and it's a little bit much to write so I'm just going to explain it before and we are going to download the file from the website instead with widget tool. So for example, you see here blowfish, uh, blowfish secret, it's a random key for the encryption. Uh, this doesn't need to be exactly like this, but it needs to be random uh, shards. And then you have uh, what connection type to use to MySQL and it should be a socket, unique socket connection and all these things. Okay, so let's make it very simple then. If we go out from this file we edited and we make sure that we are standing in the correct directory which is usr local ww php my admin you can do like this uh, if you don't have the via get tool which i don't have you can do like this pkg underscore add option r w get and then rehash and now we have the via get tool which is able to download files from the web. So the file we want to download is the configuration file from bsdtutorial.org. This file doesn't have exactly the same name because it ends with a PHP and if it does the, the via get think it's a PHP file which it won't get. So then we do like this via get bsdtutorial.org slash files slash php my admin 
and then slash config.enc.example and then you download this by pressing return VAGET was downloading it from the website so now you need to do this command mv config.inc.example to config.enc.php this will rename the file and in this case I bet that it will overwrite the old file let's try if you now try vi config dot enc dot php you can see we have the configuration file now so uh, in case it didn't download or you have problems to download you can go to the website and fill all this out inside of this file but this is a lot simpler way okay so that was the configuration for the um, for the settings for the php my admin now we need to tell uh, because if you're going to type the address let's uh, I want to show you an example here is the web server we have now but if you do like this slash PHP my admin you won't it won't work so why this doesn't work is pretty simple it's explained if you look under Uh, this category which is USA local WW patch to, to data uh, we don't have any category which is the PHP my admin so now we're going to fix so when we type the slash PHP my admin so the server will get the correct translate to get to the direct place the correct place on the space I mean on the hard disk space and to do this um, we need to um, add a con file inside of um, Apache now I'm going to teach you something that is very nice with Apache for example uh, you remember the uh, the config file for Apache this one httpd.conf what we, we could add and uh, the options inside of here but instead of making this file uh, large like to make it too much in, uh, to have too much configuration inside of the same file uh, Apache has an option to include and you can see here include etc Apache 22 includes and this means that from this folder it will include all the files which ends with .conf so this means that we don't have to make a big configuration file so we can split them up in smaller .conf file let's show you, let, let us take a look how it works so to arrive to the include uh, the folder with the include file for the conf you do like this cd usr local etc apache 22 and then include is with a big i letter like this it's in the includes so in this folder you can see that there is a con file already what you want is to add phpmyadmin.conf you could manually add this one but we are going to download this one also to make it quicker on the same place on the website you can see here what should be inside of that file but let's download it we use the same command via get bsd tutorial.org slash files slash php my admin slash php my admin dot conf this downloaded this file and let's look now we have this file php my admin dot conf so let's look inside of this one as you can see what this does is that when it's create an uh, alias like PHP my admin will reach to this folder where we find the PHP my admin and uh, here you have some permissions now it's going to accept from everyone from all type of connections you can change this one to look on the internet how if you want to uh, to to limit it to some specific IP addresses so this should be everything we need to restart the patchy now that's the only thing then we restart Apache 
And now let's try if it works. This will be exciting. Okay, so then the address is your web server address slash php my admin. And here we go. Um, we can change the language you can see here. So in my case it's Swedish. Select your language. And now my password was hello, which I was typing for the MySQL server for the route. We are logged in. Uh, this is the fancy look. If you would like to add the old look of PHP my admin, on the first page here, you can change the theme to original. You can also change the language over here. And let's try to create some databases. database created. Let's add a table. Let's see here, I want it to be auto-incremented. And it worked. Now we have a table user inside of the database BSD tutorial. So that was uh, everything here, but I think there are some things that it will whine about. If you look here, I'm going to move this up. PHP configuration is not completed, uh, and you can look here to see which steps are not completed. Uh, these are the conf inside of that config file I was speaking about with the uh, with all the variables set. You can look at the documentation to read about it and to add the ones that you want for your special needs. But in uh, but from now, uh, it will also it, this will work as normal when it's about to insert database, to add database, to add tables, and this one should be reachable from other computers now. Um, okay, so that was everything, and I hope this tutorial was useful.